What's up, you guys? Happy President's Day 2022. For this episode, we're going to cover how to fast on the holidays. Now, I know who the hell fasts on President's Day. You don't really have any dinners or anything like with your family. We'll cover how to fast for Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter's coming up and all these various holidays. And we'll offer some techniques to how you can fast on the holidays. And also how you can fast when you're hanging out with your friends. Like, what are you going to do about it? How are they going to react? So that's what we're going to cover this, for this episode. So let's get started. So first off, let me just sort of make a little confession uh, to you. I lied. I'm not going to tell you how to fast during the holidays. Actually, don't fast during the holidays. And don't fast when you're hanging out with your friends and if they're coming to visit. Uh, you know, one of the most inane criticisms of fasting is that somehow you're going to be isolated and that you're going to like sit around in a corner starving while your friends are feasting. If this is what you think fasting is about, you have not talked to the right person. And most likely you've talked to like Betty, the nutritionist, who's like, if you fast, you're going you're, you're gonna to be isolated. When you hang out with your friends, you're going to be in a little corner and no one's going to like you. You're going to be hanging out. You're going to be all alone. And then like if you're hanging out with your friends on a Friday night, don't fast. Eat. Eat just like normal. But don't gorge yourself. Don't eat too much food. But fasting is part of basically a rhythm to life. You know, you sleep eight hours, and then you get up and you're active. You have eating schedules, and you then have times when you don't eat. That's the nature of fasting. It's basically putting your life in rhythm and in balance. And so for this particular um, season, I am going to be fasting for uh, Ash Wednesday. I'm going to do a 36-hour month fast, which is just as it sounds, 36 hours. I'm not going to eat for 36 hours. And I'm also going to do a month fast for Good Friday. And we're going to cover some of the religious base for that, basis for that. I'm not going to um, have any food at all during those days. I'm not, not one of these. You know, I've read certain like Lutherans fasts where they, they eat like one meal. Well, that's not fasting. That is like eating one meal. And I'm not gonna have like bread and this sort of thing while I'm fasting. I'm gonna do an actual water fast uh, for both Ash Wednesday and Good Friday uh, for this upcoming Lent season. And so we'll talk a little bit about that as well. But that's sort of this episode of the Rocky Cast. I decided that uh, you know this is an important topic for a lot of people and I'm gonna be doing a lot on fasting. Um, but for holidays, by all means, Eat just like normal. Don't worry about it. Don't stress out. In fact, fasting is what allows you to enjoy those holidays without guilt. Now, don't gorge yourself. Don't be like, you know, eat way too much food, but just, just basically eat like you would normally. So if you're hanging out with your buds, eat the normal food that you would do. Drink the normal food that you would drink. Don't eat too much and just freaking relax. Now, the rest of the week, do fast. Um, I tend to do like a 16 hour fast, sometimes a 20 hour fast. I guess one technique sometimes that I'll do is if I am coming up on a, like, for example, my hometown is Decorah. I'm going to be visiting Decorah and I'm going to go to Maid's Pizza. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll do a little bit longer fast before. I'm not going to break my fast with Maid's Pizza. But, you know, I may, you know, if I put on a little weight over the weekend, you know, maybe the following week, I'll do a, a little bit of a, like a 24 hour fast. So that's sometimes, sometimes I'll do that. So I can kind of like build up my food budget. But for the most part, I think that's one of the most inane criticisms of fasting is that you're going to be socially isolated. People that say this don't understand fasting and most likely have not done it. I think what it does is, is in fact, quite the contrary. It allows you to enjoy uh, food when you are with friends and when you are with family and actually have a very healthy relationship. Um, now, those days that you are fasting, um, you get connected to your hunger, you get connected to your satiety, 
And so it basically makes you have a very healthy relationship with food, not an unhealthy relationship with food. And since, since I started fasting um, during the holidays, I eat just like I normally would. I've lost about 70 pounds. I have put on a little bit of weight lately. Don't worry, I'm not going to blow it up. I, I put on five pounds. So, so I, I did have to tell you that. But so now I'm down to 65 as opposed to 70 pounds. But in any event, um, I have a very healthy relationship with food now. And when I do have holidays, I um, just eat like normal. And when I'm hanging out with my friends, I eat like normal. So that's the piece of advice I have for you. In fact, don't fast during holidays. And don't fast when you're hanging out with your buds. Just eat just like normal. Don't overdo it. Have some common sense. Don't gorge yourself. But yeah, just eat like you normally would. And that is a key to fasting. Uh, you feast occasionally, and then you fast the rest of the time, and you develop a very healthy relationship for, with food. So that's this particular episode on fasting. It's not very short. Um, it, it is short, actually, for once. It's not a long one. It's a short one. Um, but infinite gratitude to you for sharing this time with me. Um, I am going to do more episodes on fasting, the health benefits, um, different things that I've done, just share what I've learned, different books that I've read. Um, hopefully, you reach out to me, rockneycole at gmail.com or rockneycast at gmail.com. Um, you continue to check out the content that we're putting on. You continue to give us positive reviews on iTunes, um, Apple Podcasts, which also is iTunes, and all places where podcasts are heard, like Spotify. I know there's a lot of choices and options out there for you, and if you've made it this far, I have infinite gratitude to each and every one of you who spend the time with me during these podcasts. It means a lot to me, and keep spreading the word of the Rocky Cast, because we're going to continue to put on high-quality content here at the Rocky Cast. So until we see you again, until next time on The Rocky Cast.